What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the Philippines. So I am located in Sikihor. So this area is sort of south of Bohol in Cebu. You can get a ferry from Cebu, like what I did, from a place called... I forgot the name of the place, but it is just far south of Cebu. If you can try to get the 10 a.m. ferry, that goes direct from there to Sikihor, but if you can't get that one, you'll have to get one to Dumingeti and then go to another ferry port over to Siki Horse. But that is the longer adventure. But today, I am with my new friends, two Canadian friends. We got Jordan hey. and we got Bailey. Oh. So I met these guys in Mobile, like just yesterday, and we just finished up our amazing breakfast here. But today, we have a big adventure. We both got our scooters and we're gonna venture around the island of Sikihort and see what we can find. So well, let's do it. All right, so unfortunate start to the morning. I guess I can <laughs> Jordan and Bailey's bike. <laughs> it's already dead. It literally won't even start up. We have no idea why. Hey, it's alive. Right, no, note to self, it's got kickstart. So that is also useful. And we're good to go again. All right, so we have come to our first waterfall today is this one here, but it says there's no water. <laughs> I think the path down this way It's gonna be a bit unfortunate coming to a waterfall with there being no water, but similar will come all this way to check it out We might as well go see what's down there Oh, there it is <laughs> It is dead dry. I have never in my life seen a waterfall completely dry like this. Like, look at that, there's, there's just nothing there. And they even have a rope swing there. I wonder how deep this used to be. This is crazy. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Waterfall. Okay, so quick update, that waterfall we were previously at, uh, we actually bumped into another guy, he was from Israel, and he showed us like this secret spot, like it's, um, there was a track going down to like a really beautiful open watered area, but he told us he didn't want us to like promote this online, he wanted to kind of keep it a secret, so I'm not going to tell you exactly where it is, I'll just keep it a little secret for now and you guys can maybe try to find it yourself, but here is a video of the area, like it was a beautiful place and we had it all to ourselves, but right now we've just been sorting out um, a trip to Upper Island, so like we're thinking of going there in the next few days. Jordan and Bailey are just gonna extend their night here. So tomorrow we're gonna go on some more adventures. But okay, enough messing around guys. Let's get back on the road. Yeah. Waterfalls around the Philippines that have like their own little tiny cave. <laughs> oh wow, there's like a little mini waterfall. It's such this cave as well. That's cool. Oh, a bit deep. How cool is this? Oh, we just found a little pond. <laughs> wow, this is amazing. Oh, what? Is there even another one? What is this thing? 
Does this go out? Oh, no, this goes nowhere. Just stuck here. Forever, and that was last time we saw Oh, the thing is like stuck in the mud. Ah! Oh, yeah, get our own little spot. <laughs> okay, so on the maps, we see that there's the Lagan Falls, which we were just at. It costs like 50 pesos for entrance and then another 10 pesos to park up. But I can, we can see on the maps there's like three well, there's two other waterfalls, sort of. It's <laughs> two other waterfalls down from this one, and another one is called Kawasan. So apparently, this is a really beautiful waterfall. But we have a feeling that they will charge you again if you go through like the main entrance. So we're kind of just taking this track in the direction, yeah. like it is a track, and we have a feeling we could just get there for free. So. <laughs> If this is the case, then this is going to work out pretty good, this plan. Right, so it seems like this trail is getting a bit thick and bush, but it's still somewhat of a trail. And on the maps, it seems like we're still heading in the right direction. I'm just copping all the spider webs at the moment. <laughs> but I think we're gonna make it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like the height is all the way up there. Oh, they got a rope swing too. All right, so we found the Kawasan Falls. There was, there was no one there, but I thought this was sort of going to happen. Oh. We, got, we got a man down already. Got a man down. <laughs> yeah, but the guy, he was going to charge us, of course. So he was saying like we had to pay another 50 if we wanted to swim in that area. It is a bit ridiculous because there's a lot of waterfalls like around this exact area. And as you can see, you can just walk one to the other, but they force you to pay at each and every single waterfall. You'll have to pay entrance and you'll have to pay parking for your motorbike. Honestly, that first one we're at, Lagan, that is better. Um, I feel like that was better than this one here. So if you're gonna go to anyone, go to Lagan. But if you wanna have a quick glance at Kawasan, just do what we did and take the trek through here, but you'll most likely get rejected. Okay, so we made it back to the Lagan Falls and we we're about to leave. But the, guy, the locals there said there's another one total opposite way in this direction uh, called Kabul Sayan. This one isn't even on the map. So, oh yeah, I just stepped in mud. That was gross. This, this one isn't even on the maps. <laughs> they said this is a new waterfall. I don't know what that means. I don't know how a waterfall can just be new. So apparently it's sort of same distance, another 10 minutes or so. <laughs> we'll see if we can find a waterfall like this way. So the guy wasn't lying, he, it brought us to this beautiful place. But we noticed that this lady, she also come here, but she's stranded on this little raft. <laughs> we'll, we'll give you a hand, we'll help push you around. <laughs> Save you to the rescue. You see, I was taking nice things on, at least I was crying. This is selfie stick, and then I realized the fucking ribbon is there. I'm here, like. Oh yeah, we even have beautiful, relaxing, Chairs to chill out on. So this is why I always say, do not be afraid to go the off-beaten track, guys, because it can lead you to amazing places like this.
beautiful little private waterfall area to ourselves. But now it is onwards and upwards off to our next unknown destination. Let's do it. Rightio, time to dig into some delicious lunch and look who I ran into. Hello again. So I don't know if you've seen her in my previous videos, but this is Jess. I actually met her in Sri Lanka during the Tuk Tuk tournament. Yes, and you did. I just met her at this restaurant. So let's dig in. Well, that is an end to my adventures. Full day adventure around Sikiho today, guys. And what better way, as usual, to end it with a beautiful sunset on the beach. So this beach right here is called Tubod Beach. Uh, it's actually really close to my hostel. My hostel is just walking distance from here. But right over there, they have a Tubod Marine Sanctuary. So that's where I went snorkeling. You saw all the fish and, wow, I saw up to like seven turtles. I cannot believe how many turtles I saw. I had to swim out a fair distance so out there. But, oh my god, it was just the best way to end the day. And it has been so fun adventuring around with my two Canadian friends. So we're going to be adventuring around together for the next few days. And it was also good catching up with Jess again from Sri Lanka. But all I can say from here on in is thanks for watching. Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and see you guys on our next Philippine adventure. Bye!